alone but not lonely. In a dream world, we would spend all day, every day, snuggling our pets. But in reality, the demands of our professional and personal lives take us away from our beloved pups. If you want to welcome a new furry family member into your home, but know you'll often be gone for hours at a time, in this video, we have listed 10 dog breeds that can tolerate more alone time than others. Number 10, Lhasa Apso. Sometimes looking into the history of a breed can provide insight on the amount of alone time that a dog can tolerate. One example is the Lhasa Apso, which was initially bred to guard Tibetan temples and monasteries. Their ancestors' former jobs might explain this breed's independent nature and why these dogs can be left alone. Lhasa Apsos are small but bold dogs that require only a moderate amount of exercise to stay healthy. These characteristics combine to make them a good option for owners who need to be out of the house for extended periods of time. Number nine, Greyhound. Greyhounds don't develop the kind of bond with people that makes separation painful. Does this mean they don't love their owners? Not at all. It just means they find it easier to relax on their own and they will likely spend most of the day napping. When they're young, they require a long walk on a leash daily, but as they age, they don't need as much activity. Although they're large dogs, older adult greyhounds no longer require a daily run. Number eight, Maltese. Cute, fluffy, and adorable, Maltese pups are sweet companions. And while they definitely have energy and will happily run around your home, they don't need as much exercise as other breeds and are among the dogs that can be left alone. They will often bark to alert you if they hear something unfamiliar, but it's usually not for attention. Number seven, Basset Hound. If you loved the animated classic, The Fox and the Hound, you surely remember Cooper's long, floppy ears. But these watchdogs aren't just adorable, they're also ideal for farm living, city dwelling, or life in the burbs. They sleep for long periods during the day and are generally very mellow and inactive. If you're someone who works for long hours, a Basset Hound may be a dog breed that you can leave home by itself. Number six, Standard Poodle. While poodles require intensive grooming and have specific nutrition requirements, they're a highly intelligent breed and have a great character. One of their best qualities is their calm nature, which allows them to be alone for extended periods. When it's time to play though, get ready. They are very active and will run, chase balls, and roughhouse. Number five, Shiba Inu. The Shiba Inu is one of the most popular dog breeds in Japan. Medium-sized and inherently loyal, these dogs make great companions, but they aren't considered a needy type of pet. They have a reputation for not being overly affectionate, but that is balanced by being happy in their own company. Though they do well in many households, with or without children, they tend to be stubborn, so training may be a little more complicated than with other breeds. Number four, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The beloved pup of Charlotte on Sex and the City is one of the best dogs for apartment living. Compared to other Spaniels, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels require less exercise and bark less. The key to keeping them happy is ensuring that they have walks and receive TLC when you're at home. Aside from their lap dog status, there's a lot to love about this breed. Just look at their floppy ears and freckled faces. Number three, Japanese Chin. When you aren't nestled together at home with him, your Japanese chin will likely be found cuddling and sleeping for hours on end on his own. Self-sufficient by nature, these dogs find ways to entertain themselves without much anxiety, but out of boredom, they could snack mindlessly. If they're left alone for a long period, they will need food and water to be easily accessible to them the entire day. Number two, Pug. Good news if you can't get enough of these scrunchy-faced cuties. Pugs are generally adaptable and can accept a consistent routine of you coming and going. He suggests starting with small alone time sessions during puppyhood to get them used to your schedule. But being dogs that can be left alone is just one of the pug's selling points. This lovable small dog does not require vigorous daily exercise. And although a good watchdog, he tends to bark less than others his size. Number one, Bernese Mountain Dog. Bernese Mountain Dogs are not only one of the most beautiful and friendly giant breeds out there, 
but they're also surprisingly calm. And contrary to what their enormous size may suggest, they don't require as much activity as other dogs. They're highly intelligent, and for this reason, they tend to be very easy to train and get into a routine. Because they're an oversized breed, they can hold elimination for long periods. If you live in a large home with lots of space and a big yard, this could be an excellent breed for you. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Which is your favorite dog breed? Let us know in the comments. Here are some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you guys later.